Good afternoon, LB. Mark Kowalski, your superintendent, coming to you on Groundhog Day, February 2nd. Uh, several announcements here on this Wednesday afternoon. First of all, uh, if we have basketball this Saturday, uh, our girls team will be playing at noon, taking on number one state ranked Fort Loramie. Then, if you get a chance, the academic boosters, get out and support our academic boosters from two to five between games um, who are having their annual chili cook-off. So, for any updates on that uh, academic boosters event, please check Facebook, Liberty Benton Academic Boosters. Um, also, stick around and come out and support our boys team uh, who will be playing Ottawa Hills at five. So it could be a full day of basketball and chili here on Saturday. If, in fact, we need to cancel due to the impending winter storm, it will be rescheduled and we'll announce that rescheduled date. Also, with the impending storm, it looks like that we could have some additional calamity days. So far, we have had three calamity days. We will enter remote learning in day six, meaning if we miss Thursday and Friday, we will not be in a remote learning situation till the following week or our next calamity day. Hope to make a call this evening on what that looks like, but we were supposed to have it this morning and it never happened. So we were able to get a full academic day in for our school community. Uh, if we are canceled Thursday and Friday, I'm asking everyone to stay away from our buildings uh, because our maintenance and snow removal crew uh, we'll have their hands full. Uh, there could be some additional heavy equipment on site uh, in getting our campus cleared. So please stay away from the elementary middle school campus, the high school campus, as well as the fitness center in the back of the high school. So our crew is able to clear the snow uh, before it, it gets packed down. And again, we may have some additional heavy equipment in there. So the next announcement have I have, excuse me, pertains to open enrollment. So if you are a current open enrolled student and you have not returned your um, intent form for next year, uh, please, uh, you're actually going to be receiving a letter from Susan Wright and please let us know your intent for next year, whether you are, you wish to return or you are uh, seeking another educational option. With that, our new open enrollment period opened yesterday for new um, open enrollees and also new kindergarten students. Now, it's important to keep in mind that you get these forms in as quickly as possible because they are on a first come, first serve basis, and we date those as they come in. Any questions, please reach out to me, superintendent at liberty-benton.org or call 419-422-8526. You can ask for Susan Wright or myself on the open enrollment. Uh, I want to draw attention to something that we posted on the Eagle update. It's from the Hancock Public Health COVID-19 update. It's a letter from Health Commissioner uh, Kareem Baruti. And please, please take a look at that under the Eagle update. All right. That is dealing with close contacts and quarantines in schools. Any questions, reach out to me. Also, I put an announcement out yesterday evening, actually notified high school staff officially yesterday and the rest of our staff after, our district staff after that. And we sent out a message to our school community yesterday evening. Uh, and this is pertaining to our construction project. Um, our bond issue was passed in May of 2019. Hard to believe it's, we're approaching three years. We were delayed one entire year uh, because of COVID. Uh, this high school renovation should have happened last summer and we should be moving in to the new K-8 this fall. But obviously with the delay, we're an entire year behind. So uh, we have a significant amount of, of demolition and renovation that needs to occur here at the high school. Uh, in order to, to uh, accommodate this tight window we have, uh, so we can hopefully start school on time in the fall. Um, we are ending in-person student learning at the high school, in person, Friday, May 20th. That doesn't mean school is ending. 
Students will be on remote learning from May 23rd, Monday, through Thursday, June 2nd. So, with that, um, I know Mr. Gherkin and his team will be, will be coming up with some parameters for the remote learning, which we'll be sharing. There'll be an opportunity to, for those students who need extra help or have missing assignments. We'll be bringing those students in. It may be to the middle school. Again, further communications will be coming out here in the near future. I do want to stress graduation still remains Sunday, uh, June 5th. Where that is at, a couple options. Could be at the um, high school stadium, possibly Gateway, but it still is Sunday, scheduled for Sunday, June 5th. Again, a little inconvenience for us to, uh, to renovate um, our high school uh, with our OFCC partner, High Facilities Construction Commission partner, and also our construction manager, Gil Bain, and it will be really, really nice and amazing when it's done. So, um, any questions, comments, or concerns, I had a few people reach out to me today and we'll be addressing those. And again, further communication will be coming as far as some of the year-end activities and dates uh, for those. Uh, seniors last day, if you will, and some of those activities that happen at the end of school. We're going to honor all those activities uh, that are traditions here at Liberty Benton. Um, with the impending wet weather, students get out, help your neighbor, shovel some snow. If in fact we get, a, we get what we're supposed to, um, take this opportunity. You can get 1% better shoveling snow. Please get out and help your fellow neighbor here in the next couple days if in fact we are not in school the next couple days um, with that everyone have a great couple days be safe um, maybe i'll see you next week and more importantly as always go eagles